This is the final part of data sharding and consistent hashing. If you haven't seen the previous videos, I highly recommend it, otherwise it might get a little confusing. A quick recap on what consistent hashing does, imagine you have a hash ring, which is a circle with servers all around it. The goal of consistent hashing here is to be able to distribute data evenly across the servers and also be able to retrieve them. What's going to happen is that we're going to hash your data and provide a place at the ring, which is likely to be empty. To fix this, we always find the next available server. This is far superior than the hash table because it's fault tolerant. Now let's go ahead and try to implement this solution and I'll pick up where I left off in the last video. Now let's open PyCharm here and create a new file which will be consistent hashing. Now let's do the imports here, import hashlib requests, from OS path import exists, from bisect import bisect write and bisect. I'll explain this as we go along. From utilities, storage node import, storage node, and servers. Now let's create the hash function here. We'll take in a key and this time we'll take in a total slots. And we'll initialize the SHA-256 here. And update it with bytes of the key in UTF-8 format. Now we'll return an integer version of it by getting the hexadecimal and inserting base 16 to accept the hexadecimal modded by the total slots there. Now let's create the class consistent hashing. Oops, I mean consistent hash. There we go. And let's initialize it with self keys and those will be the indexes taken in the ring. Okay, now let's also insert here nodes, which will be the uh, nodes in the ring and the self total slots, let's say 3000 servers is the maximum. Now let's add a method here to add node. And we'll first check if the length of the keys is equal to the total slots. And in that case, if this is true, then we raise an exception that we're full. We can't take any more servers now. Now let's get our key here by using the hash function and passing in the host and the total slots configured and the index as well by using bisect self keys and key. Let's see what bisect does real quick. Let's imagine we have a sorted array here and we want to insert the number 5. What bisect is going to do is find the index where that number 5 should go. In this case, it should go at index 4. The time complexity of this algorithm is O of log n, which is excellent. Now let's add another corner case here if index is bigger than 0 and keys index minus one if there is a match here then that means we'll raise an exception and explain that a collision has been detected now let's insert the node by providing the index and the node and insert the key as well by providing the index and the key. And now we return the key here. Now let's write the function to upload a file here and provide the file name as an argument. 
and get the key using the hash function file name self total slots again now let's look at the index here I using bisect write to find the next available server and we insert the keys key now to provide our file here the field is avatar on the server so we open the file name with read binary and now the host we want to create a variable for those so nodes index host and let's do it for the name as well make it a little more readable now we're going to print that information uploading file name to the name of the server and host of the server as well now let's return request.post and insert the URL here which is host upload avatar and the files will be file and return a text now let's go ahead and call our class here consistent hash and what I want to do here is add the available servers to the pool so for node and servers ch add node node now let's create and upload those files here with a loop so if not exists new pick here i dot text f h open so let's create the file here so new pick i dot text and we need to insert the x here for file creation so now let's upload it new pick i dot text let me go back here and comment upload files and now let's run this and see how we fare up oh, hang on I gotta run it from the file name here so as you can see those files are being uploaded right now everything seems to be working as it should and there you have it folks now you learned how to implement a simple version of consistent hashing on your own and it's not as scary as it sounds as always thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe